What's going on guys, Sean Gattier back with another video. Today I have probably the best video I've recorded to date. Guys, it's a bald fade side part with the beard and color enhancement. So I hope you guys enjoy it, but without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, guys, you can see my man here, super grown out hair. He's one of my longtime clients. He booked a VIP service today, which is full works, hair and beard and color enhancement. So you guys are about to see a transformation. We're gonna go in, make a clean parting right here. You can see I just wet the hair, get a nice vertical line, and then I'll pick where I wanna put my part, comb some of the hair to one side, comb the rest down, and we have a nice sharp parting for our hard part. So we'll go in with our trimmer, make this line nice and sharp, follow behind with some 245 shave gel and the razor and we'll get the line all the way in there. Now to start off this side, we're gonna take a number two guard all the way closed. We're gonna come straight off the parietal ridge and blend into that slight weight that's on the side here. I get asked a lot from you guys, when do I do block graduation, when do I not? Uh, when somebody has a square head like this and their head shape is more square than round, uh, you're basically gonna be able to run that clipper straight up off the edge and blend right into the top while maintaining that square shape. So the more round their head is, you may need to leave some more length to fill that gap in the parietal ridge. Somebody real square like this that wants it short, I'm gonna go ahead and just run that clipper straight up off the ridge and you guys will see what we'll still end up with a nice square shape. So we started with our two into the weight at the top. Now we'll follow that same shape with our slim line and start our bald guide line. We'll clear out all the bulk underneath, come in with our shaver and get it all the way down to skin and then we can start our fade. Now when you guys use your shaver, you wanna come up close to that bald line and get it all the way down to skin. And then when you get up to the stubble, you're just gonna tap the shaver to lighten up that line between the slick ball at the bottom and the stubble above it. So you almost have three sections within this one. You can see I'm using the double foil at the bottom, getting it all the way bald. I'll leave myself about an inch between the stubble and the bald, and then we can tap the shaver and just lighten that line up so we don't have a hard bald line underneath. start our first section with the clipper all the way open we're gonna make our first guideline about three quarters of an inch to an inch up following the same shape as the ball guideline and the weight above after we get the guideline established we'll start to fade that line out from the bottom Now as always, our first step, because we punched the line in with the slim lines, we will scoop the line out with the slim lines. So our sharpest trimmer is gonna be when we press down, like we're lining something up, and then the next step will be with the trimmer coming up, scooping up. After that, we'll come in with the clipper all the way closed at the bottom of the section, and in the middle of the section, we'll have the lever halfway open. And you guys will see, I'm actually gonna use these Babyliss FX for this cut. I did do the first guideline with the Filthy Mod Seniors, but I have been cutting with these clippers a lot lately. Uh, and you guys let me know what you think. I think this cut's gonna turn out fire. I don't know if it's all just the clipper, but I have been cutting with these a lot lately and I'm digging them a little bit. So let me know what you guys think. After we get this fade kind of established, we're gonna come in, we'll use our lever, and we're just gonna start with it open and work our way down until any dark spots that are left are taken out. Our next guideline will be the one guard all the way open. We'll do another step about the same size as before. 
three quarters of an inch to an inch following the same shape and then we'll start to work that line out. After the one open, we'll immediately close it up and go two thirds of the way up into that section. So just like the section before, we're gonna split it into three. It'll be open at the top, closed two thirds of the way up, and the half guard will clean up the line at the bottom. So you guys can see all we have left right now is a subtle line between the open one section and the open section. And we'll come in after this with our half guard and that'll take that last line out. Now you can see the half guard. I like to look at this as a magic eraser. You guys don't need to use this as a whole step. That's a mistake I see done a lot of the times. You'll just use it to take this line out. And as you guys can see, I'm just rubbing that through that line. I say rubbing because if, to me it feels like an eraser. It doesn't cut a lot of hair, but I'm just gonna rub it through that last line and it will just lighten it up enough and then we can move on. Next up, we'll come back in with our number two. We're just gonna make sure that everything's a two before we move on. Uh, we already did hit this with the two, but I like to go back through it, make sure everything's cut down nice and even. And then the last line that you guys can see will come out with the one and a half. Again, it's just like the half guard. It's the magic eraser between these two panels. And when I take the one and a half through this, it's just gonna lighten that last line up. And then after that, guys, we'll do our detail work. If I have to go back to the one guard and back down through my guards to clean up any dark spots, we will do that. And then we can finish up this lineup on this side and head to the other side. Now we'll come in, we're gonna edge up the baby hairs up here on his corner. We'll edge up the vertical bar and the C cup. And like I said, we will do some color enhancement when we get done with the rest of the cut. Now to clean up this weight, I'm just gonna come through, I'm gonna hit it with my thinning shears. I just wanna make sure that it doesn't lay heavy. And guys, it's very important when you do this that you only hit the ends of the hair. And the reason you just wanna hit the ends is because if you hit the hairs in the middle, it will cause the short hairs to make the long hairs stick up. So we just wanna hit the ends to make it lay a little bit softer uh, so our weight lays nice and neat on top of that fade. All right, we're gonna go in on this side, do the same steps. We'll start off with our number two, do our ball guide line, and then fade our way up, just the same as before, so you guys follow along. I wanna tell you real quick, a lot of you guys are 245 Academy members. I don't touch on it a lot. I don't want it to get monotonous and keep telling you guys the same thing, but I will tell you, I taught this haircut on the Academy about a week ago, and guys, we did an hour-long video very, very broken down compared to this YouTube video and uh, definitely something you can really gain a lot more from. Uh, if these YouTube videos help, that's great. If you have more questions, you guys can definitely benefit from joining the Academy. And if any of you are Academy members that are watching right now, leave me some feedback in the comments section and let me know how much more in depth and how helpful the video was on the Academy in comparison to this. I just want you guys to know that it's much more in depth. You can actually ask questions live while I'm teaching and I'll actually answer your questions specific to what's going on on screen. Uh, it's definitely much more helpful than YouTube. And I'm also gonna give you guys a heads up if you're in the Academy, if you wanna join my next live stream, guys, I will actually be cutting the hair live on camera. So you'll be able to actually watch me cut and ask questions and I can stop cutting and answer or actually physically show you guys something while I cut hair. So if you wanna talk about next level guys, that's some next level learning. So make sure you guys head over and sign up. There'll be a link in the description below. We're gonna go ahead and start on the beard. Guys, the way I normally do beards, that's a two guard closed. I go with the grain, straight down the cheek. I'm basically gonna flick out into the length. And it's similar to blending into the length on top of a head. I'm just gonna flick out into the length at the bottom. Then I immediately come up at the top of the cheek. You guys can see right where the beard starts to get skinny. And I'll start with my two guard open. We're gonna blend from the length of the beard up. Now we'll come in with a one and a half. Same steps as the fade guys. We'll work our way up and fade this out. So one and a half. Now I open one. I'll work my way across. You guys can see I'm using the corner of the blade a little bit. Then we'll close it up and we'll work our way all the way through the steps, back up to skin and blend into the sides. All 
And you guys can see I skipped the half guard. I just try to go ahead and get that to blend in without having to use the half guard. And if I need to grab it, I will. Uh, but sometimes, as you guys can see, you can get that done without the half guard. So if I need it, I'll grab it. I'll clean that up. You guys see I go back with my closed one right here, and it looks fine. So now we're up to the trimmer. We'll go ahead and bald that out, and then we can shave the top of that and blend it into the bald part. We're gonna go ahead and take this back beard line straight down from the sideburn. We'll just take it straight down, take all that hair off that goes to the back of the neck, and then we'll connect the rest when we get done. I'm gonna kind of work my way around on this beard. I will start on the top line, and then we'll come in and do some enhancements and line the bottom up. I'm just gonna lightly hit this top line. I will come in with the razor and get it all the way sharp, but I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this hair out of the way so the razor has less work to do. We're gonna take the hair off his mustache right off the top of his lip. So I look for the line where the red of his lip meets the skin and that's where I'll go in and make my line. go in and do some color enhancement guys this is my color enhancement card if you guys don't know about it you can get it at seancutshair.com we're using 245 no drip it's the black brown and this is the beam team compressor so you guys can see the different angles on the card allow us to do the vertical bars the corner of the c cup and the c cup and now we'll use the long straight for the beard and when we get to the curve of the beard we'll just set our curve on there and spray a little enhancement so do the same thing on this side then we'll come in behind it with the razor and get it all the way sharp Now we come in with the 245 shave gel and the triple cartridge razor. Guys, this is the new green razor that came out with a few different colorways. I believe there are a few left on the website, so head over to 245.com and copy one. We're gonna come in, we're gonna get the line nice and sharp. And I just realized I said I was gonna dry shave. I totally forgot I used shave gel, but that is the best thing about this enhancement, guys. Once it's on there, the shave gel will not take it off. Only thing that's gonna take it off is alcohol, or if you get in the shower and shampoo it and whatnot, that will take it off as well uh, if you scrub it off. But you guys can see, we're just gonna shave this line, make it nice and sharp, and this haircut's really gonna start to pop. I just now realized, guys, I didn't cut the top. I didn't mention that before. I just blended it in. He didn't want any length off. He liked how it was laying, and I just now saw it laying, so I wanted to make sure I touched on that. Now we're gonna go in, we'll just clean up the bottom of the beard. I'm gonna freehand it with my FX clipper, and then we'll come in and line up the bottom once I get all this bulk out of the way. And you guys can see this cut coming together. Like I said, if you guys would like to see this more in depth, make sure you guys check out the Academy. Like I said, I don't wanna beat a dead horse and keep telling you guys about it, but it is a lot of value for you guys. It's only 20 bucks a month. And like I said, we did this haircut for a full hour. This video is only about 13, 14 minutes. So a full hour, guys, questions being asked live, and you guys can watch all the old content as well on the Academy. There's no rules or restrictions. I've seen some Academies, you can only watch one a week, certain things like that. You can sign up for the Academy. There's over 60 or 70 videos on there right now, and we definitely do those once a week as well. But like I said, you guys definitely don't wanna miss out. My next live stream, I will be cutting hair live to do the tutorial live, and guys, it's gonna be a high taper with color enhancement, and we're gonna really break it down. So. 
There's the before guys, you can see he was super grown out, no type of style, and there's the finished product. Hope you guys like it. I think this is the best cut that I've put on YouTube thus far. Leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think. Hit that thumbs up if you guys like this video and make sure you subscribe. I got dope content coming soon and I will catch you guys next time.